Today's story time, we are going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Hi guys, thanks for joining me for the craft. We are going to be making this butterfly life cycle craft after we read our Hungry Caterpillar book. Okay, first we're gonna need a piece of paper. You're gonna take that piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're going to fold it in half again. So we make four individual little squares. And each one of these squares is gonna represent one of the stages of our butterfly life cycle. So in our first part of our story, we learned that the butterfly um, laid an egg on a leaf. So we're gonna glue this egg, and we're gonna glue this leaf on to our first sequence here. And you can use rice, or I used some little um, bird seeds here. So I'm just gonna put some glue on and put those little eggs on the leaf. Now our next part of our story, the little caterpillar hatched out of those eggs. So we are going to glue on a little caterpillar. And I have a piece of yarn here. If you don't have yarn, you could use pipe cleaner, but the yarn works really well for that caterpillar. And after that caterpillar ate and ate and ate, he made a chrysalis or a cocoon and um, I have a little cotton ball here. So we're gonna just glue on for the chrysalis. And the last stage of this butterfly life cycle is of course our butterfly. So I just cut this out of paper and glue it on there. And there you go. There's your butterfly life cycle from egg, caterpillar, chrysalis to butterfly. Thank you guys for joining us.